Well, I'm out of class right now. Um, I got my patch all done. I just get, well, it's not done yet. I still gotta finish it. I gotta grind them uh, nuts down. And then I gotta take some mar glass and fill that in to get the shape right. But it's all on there. This one I just glued on. It's with this high inducive glue. Um, uh, it worked pretty good. But, uh, yeah, I was going to weld it on, but I just don't have time to do it right now, so I figured this would be quick. You know what I mean? It's, it's new metal, so it's not like I'm putting in old metal or just filling it with Bondo. But, um, I ordered the rear quarters from uh, Dixie Monte Carlo Depot. My friend, uh, Scold Monte, he uh, sent me the link for it, and they're $69 a piece, which I think is pretty, pretty expensive for, uh, for those because there's you can get a whole quarter for like uh, 200 bucks and I was in, I'm spending hundred and seven forty dollars just for two pieces but whatever I'm just gonna get it done so I can get my car finally sanded down and shit and ready for paint but I think from the picture I think it goes uh, I'm not sure if it go, if it's that whole piece or if it's just this bottom piece I'm thinking it's just the it goes halfway up for the bottom piece but uh, that's gonna be done pretty soon and then once I get all once I get all this done and all that I can start uh, sanding it down and getting it ready for whatever it's gonna be painted before December so look forward to getting it done and then I can finish start working on my interior I'll finish it up but um there's this piece up here. I tried to look on some Monte Carlo forms and seeing if they had any like helps or fixes on it, but this is this is in pretty bad shape. Um, I used one. I used SS bumpers like from 150 bucks to 300, depending on who's selling it and however much they think it's worth. So. I'm just going to, I don't know if I can, if that's repairable or not. If you think it is, comment on here and let me know or send me a message. I've seen that people put like some type of like screen in behind it and they fill it with like fiberglass. But I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that because there's a pretty big chunk missing right there. But I really don't want to paint the car unless that's fixed because it it's going to make it look like shit. But um, if you have any suggestions or anybody knows like anything that I can do to fix that, please, please comment on my thing or email me or something. Cause I mean, I'm trying to, I'm struggling right now to come up with six hundred dollars to get the paint and stuff. Well, if that's including all the metal and everything, but for only being seventeen and eighteen and high school still, I'm trying to paint their car, it's kind of hard, but. I mean, I guess it's better than paying 3000 at a body shop, but still. Um, yeah, just let me know if, if you know anything about that. I know there's supposed to be another a piece of plastic that goes on the bottom, and it goes around to the fenders too, but I'm not going to put that on there because, for one, the other one's all cracked up, and I don't have the fender extensions for this, for the fenders, so it'd be kind of pointless to put it on if I don't, if I, if I don't even have the fender extensions. It would kind of look stupid. <clears throat> but I still have to pull. I, I'm kind of lazy. I still got to pull one of the, uh, the plates that bolts down at the bottom. It's about an inch. That'll take that gap away. But that'll that'll be done by the time I get around to paint it. But I really, really, really glad I'm buying them quarters because just to try to remake this metal to me, to me, if I'm not a master fabricator, so it'd probably be impossible. But, yeah, I'm still going to have a hard time trying to fix this one. Because this has a lip right here, but it doesn't have a bottom. So I'm going to have to try to fix, figure out how I'm going to try to do that. But, man, that chrome shit just eats eats it away. If you don't take care of it, it's, it's just gone. I, I'm never buying another car with chrome on it like that. And if I do, I'm damn sure gonna look behind it, have them take it off because that's that's a little that's ridiculous. And for the idiot to put a fucking t-shirt or sock in there 
That was the dumbest thing I've seen in my life. There was two t-shirts stuck in there, soaking wet, and that's probably why this is all rotted away. The shit that people does, is just, it's, it's amazing. Like, I don't understand what would make you think that putting a t-shirt in there would make, make it better. It, common sense is going to think, it's going to get wet. Water soups, sleeps up there and gets into the thing. It's going to get soaking wet, and then water just creates rust, so, especially against metal. But yeah, just comment on here. Let me know if you have any suggestions on the bumper or anything else. Um, yeah, thanks.